what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back here on the video guys. Yeah, me and my beautiful guest. It's a makeover. My name is Devon. Welcome it's to the best friends. friends. So, we're going to be real to We are ending this right now. Pastor Storm's off interview. Wow. This is going to be our first time checking this video out. And we want to see what really happened. The reason why you Storm's off the interview. So, let's give it a try. This was actually recommended by our friend. So we want to check this out and see what really happened. You know how to do it, guys? We talk less right on react more. Let's get into this video. Father State, I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Help us fight censorship by hitting the thumbs up. Thumbs up button. And then don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. You can ring my bell. Ring the bell, all right? <laughs> I um uh, have I with like me that. today Pastor Kurt D. Thomas. He's a senior pastor of the Re Renewed Church of Los Angeles. Am I right? That is Renewed Church of Los Angeles. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having me. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you. And so, were you called to be a pastor, or, or did you go to school for it? Um, well, at the age of nine, um, I felt the presence of God um, over me. I grew up in a Pentecostal church. Uh -huh. So I went through that entire Pentecostal experience. And it wasn't until I matriculated through um, college um, that I decided to get a, um, a bachelor's degree um, in um, theology or to study theology while I was at Stillman College. Oh, I see. So God didn't call you. You just you you decided to oh, go no. to school for it. No, no, no. I believe that I was called by God to do what I do. Oh, you do. Yes. And why did you why do you believe that? Why do I believe that I was called? Uh -huh. um, I know that I'm that I'm called to do what I do because the the because I have a passion and I have a desire to see people elevated from where they are to where they need to be. Oh, okay. And when you say where they are, do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Um, explain what you mean by that. Uh, a fallen, fallen state. Uh, you're a pastor, you should know. Yeah, but I'm, but what, explain what, what do you mean by a fallen state? <laughs> do you know, uh, do you be believe that human beings are in a fallen state? You know what fallen means, a right? A fallen state means that they've fallen from the grace of, of God. Is yes. That, is that what you're, okay. Right. Um, so I believe that people, ha people, that humans have fallen from a fallen state, but with the whole deal with reconciliation, I think that God reconciles us back to himself. So you do agree then that human beings have fallen away from God, right? That humans have fallen away from God according to Adam right. and all right. that, yes. And then at some point, those who want to who seek him will come back those who who seek him are that he's called back to them yes then they will is it or is it possible to overcome that fallen state it is possible to overcome that fallen state if we accept um if we accept christ back into our hearts right so how does one know when they're in a fallen state well a person will know that they're in a fallen state when or is, is when they don't live a, a life that's acceptable. I believe that's really acceptable to themselves. So it's like a person that is a drug addict or a person that is, um, drinks too much liquor, um, a person that maybe um, not, is that try to get possibly drunk? not living their best life or, their, or what, doing what they're called to do. I think that those people are the people that find themselves in a fallen state. So when they're not living a life according to God, then they're in a fallen state? If, if you're not living a life that is according to the principles of God, yes. Then you're in a fallen state? Then you're in a fallen state. Um, so so if I, I read, and I don't know if it's true or not, I'd like to ask the person before I mention, you know, okay. know if it's true or not. Are you a homosexual? I am a um, 
I'm saying gender loving man. So it doesn't mean you're homosexual? It means that I'm the same gender loving man. But just for I'm black and slow. Okay. And just for the record, does that mean you're a homosexual? I yeah, I could be considered a homosexual. Are yes. you considered I don't want to think of you if yeah, you're not I'm a homosexual. You're a homosexual? Yes. And so you're a homosexual pastor? I am a homo Wait, 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 pardon me. Is he's your try a shame of saying he's homosexual? I, I I don't know why because you see he kept on answering homosexual it's like if you consider that yeah well if it's, it's a straightforward question it's, though yeah it's a straightforward question that deserves is a honest is it answer a yes or no yeah well he was just a try beating around the bush mm -hmm. this guy is a try getting it wrong you should have just said um when you are not following according to what the Bible said according sense. to what God said in the book. Once you are falling short of it, you are falling out from the state of God. Yeah. Means you are disobeying it. Also, him being a gay and a pastor, that he has fallen short of the things of God. He has he's already out of the state. That was assigned for him. And it's it's really, really bad for a pastor to be a gay and also preaching such thing to his members. Because the same Bible you are preaching to them show you clearly that it does not promote gay or homosexuality yeah so you preaching it to congregation it's it's terrible it means you're not a pastor for me it's just like how do i put it let me say a murderer and everyone knows a murderer but you just put him in a high place and he's in control of things but as we know in our 21st century you it's not supposed to be so you can't let someone with that kind of stature rule or do something like that so i don't know if you're looking at homosexuality um in the secular world yeah i feel everyone have the right to whatever they want to do but we being religious we being christians we being believers of christ we yeah. already know that the bible is against this I mean, I'm not saying if you're homosexual, I hate your stuff like that, but I feel that is your personal life, that is your business. I'm not homophobic. Everyone has their own decision. But as a religious person, and you are also religious with me, I feel it's against the Bible. The Bible does not accept it. It's just the same thing as premarital sex. If it's the same thing, I'm still going to tell you this is not right because the Bible does not accept it killing stealing stuff like that is part of what the bible does not accept so yeah. if you are doing stuff like this it's a plain thing we are all christians we know it's not right so i'm going to tell you straight to your face What's this you're doing is not right true and you, you you believe in christ you believe in god then why are you doing this because it's a sin you're sinning openly and you you take it as it's a normal, normal thing. thing it's not because it's acceptable in the country or where you are does not mean it's right. It's just the way they have normalized premarital sex. Yeah, you guys have normalized it. Oh, fine. Do what you want to do. Don't make it general. Don't make I it can. everybody should do it. Because it's against a lot of people's culture. It's against a lot of people's belief. And I don't know. I don't know. It's, I just... I don't know how... Um, I know nobody is righteous. Nobody is 100% clean. But being... I don't know how it puts it. You should call it speed is speed. That is exactly. it. You know it's not good? It's not good. Just because it's acceptable everywhere does not mean it's right. So that is just it for me. And you being a pastor, you ought to teach people the Bible. And the Bible do not support their homosexuality. And you joining two homosexuals together is not right. Though it's acceptable by the law you are in, in your yeah, country, it's does not right mean law. it's not right. Does, does not mean it's right. Let's keep watching, yes homosexual pastor yes how long have you been a homosexual pastor um i've been a pastor um for eight years uh senior pastor and then before that prior to that um i was a youth pastor oh, okay why do you think that god would call a uh, a person a homosexual to be a pastor but not change him so um I don't think that God majors where we minor. Uh, and, I, and so I think that what happens is I think that we put limitations on God that God doesn't have. Um, for example, um, we could, in, if you go to seminary or something like that, you find out that 
there's a thought process that God could possibly be a woman or that God could be this or that God could be that. That God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. You believe that he can be a woman? I believe that God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. So could it be a homosexual too if you needed him to be one? Well, honestly, I don't think that God... God, the Bible says that God is neither male nor female. Right. So how so, can it be a woman then if he's not a female? Well, I'm saying that. So there's a book that's by um, by watch by who's the book? By? There's a book that is written. It's called. Um, well, that's all right by the title. What about the book? But in the book, um, the principles of the book talk about. God swaying himself to um, to this place. and it's called The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. And so if you read that book, then you find out that God basically finds himself congruent to whatever state of mind a person is, is in. And so at one state, God is a Jewish carpenter. At one state, God shows himself as, um, as a big black um, woman in the kitchen cooking. Big black woman. Uh, a black woman in the kitchen, <laughs> in the kitchen cooking. Oh, and so, so you think God can be a big black woman? I think that God can be whatever it is that you need God really? to be at that moment. Do you think that God can be a homosexual too? I don't. If God needs to be a homosexual, I think that He was, but I don't like Him. Why is it? I don't like in the word. I don't like in God to be, um, to, to to be an isolated <laughs> gender. So you believe that God could be a woman, a big black woman, God a homosexual? Be, God could be whatever you need God to be. And so so does that person make God what they want him to be in their mind so they can accept being wrong? Or I does God switch genders and all that kind of stuff? I don't think that um I don't think that God that we create God to be whatever we want God to be in our minds. I think that it's based on experiences. The experiences of that person allows God to trans uh, to, to transform himself in whatever it is that that person needs to be. For an example, um, if you've ever gone to Africa or if you've ever gone to a, a part of the world where, <laughs> um, where we haven't, where there's no westernized um, religions to where people, they, we don't, they don't have an isolated form of who Jesus who Jesus is or what he looks right. like opposed to what you were talking about earlier. Right. Um, we don't know what he looks like. And so since that God becomes whatever it is that that person's experience is. Those countries that don't be. believe in God, they are S whole countries and they're all trying to come here now and bring their <laughs> S whole attitudes. Their S whole, what is that? Huh? What is that? What is S whole country? It's an S H I T hole. Oh, you're talking. You're saying that they're S hole countries, right? Because those people don't believe in God. I wouldn't say that they don't believe in God. I would say they don't that believe in the real God. They have their own made up God based on their imagination, right? I wouldn't say that. I would. I would say that we that we experience God on the level that we know God. So if if you have somebody that is an Indian and they've never had anyone explain to them the ideology of of God that is created here in Western culture, then I think that what that is person, Western culture? Western culture is where culture is where has to do with now. this. Oh, it's what we 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 operate in a canonized version of the Bible in which we accept as the authentic truth of, of well, who Western Je culture of who is the best culture, right? I wouldn't say that. Then why everybody try to come here if we are not the best if Western culture is not the best culture, why everybody trying to come to what's not the best culture? Is everybody trying to come here? Everybody and their mama. Have you noticed we can't even keep the illegals out? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't it's say that illegal, everybody's bro, trying to come here. Yeah, but I would say that there are people that are trying from to, all over the world. to come here from all over the world. Right. Yeah. And so, if we are not the best country, why are they trying to come here? Why don't they go to the best country? We could consider ourselves to be the best country. But we and are maybe, the best. And maybe and that's because of Western culture. Well, I wouldn't use the word best, maybe. I would use the word, we're probably a country where people are allowed to be free and be themselves. So we're the best. If you say best, then I'll go with that. <laughs> so I want to go back. You say, you say God is a black woman. 
I didn't say God was a black woman. I I, I used the book as an analogy that God was to, a black to woman to show us that God could be whatever it is that we need God to Amazing. be. Amazing. Do you believe that that book? I believe that God could be whatever it is that we want God to be. Really? Yes. And so <laughs> you've been a homosexual all your life. You said earlier, right? Um, at the age of Good nine, break. at the age of nine, I um I I knew that I like that I like the same sex. Yes. How did you become that way? I didn't become that way. I just, I knew that that was my innate nature. Guys, this itself, it's, it's very alarming, guys. Yeah. At the same age, Jesus, or oh, say God, the Holy Spirit, called him. It was the same age he found out he was gay. So the story is not trying really adding up for me. What do you think? I I feel everyone have the way they interpret things because um, just like he's saying, Throughout his conversation here, he never spoke about the Bible. Yeah. He quotes from a book someone yeah, wrote. Yeah, from a book someone wrote. He didn't true. speak about the Bible. And I'm going to speak um, based on the Islam side. If you're talking to, maybe if it was to be an Islam, a Muslim prophet that was there, yeah. anything he is going to say is going to speak from the, the Quran. Quran. If because if, the book is the guide. Exactly. The book is what is guiding you. What you don't know anything about Christ without the Bible. You don't know anything about God without the Bible. So anything you're going to know about, anything you're going to talk about him is based on what the Bible have given you. Just like you saying that you're going to school. You don't know anything about the course you are doing except what you're learning. Sure. And what you're learning is what they are teaching you, what you're going back home to revise from the same book that they're teaching you from so the bible is a guide if you are speaking to people about christianity and you're not speaking based on the bible what are you talking about it's, it's like uh, according to the book yeah god is who you see god to be is that what the bible I, said is, that's not what the bible <laughs> said you are being misled i don't want to judge him over here no um, i'm not judging just i'm just stating facts fact. yeah i just want to just watch this and see his final opinion about this let's keep watching yeah. guys to be to, to to like men and so how did your nation go from a natural nature of being a man or male to an unnatural nature of becoming a woman how did that happen so you said the unnatural nature of me becoming a woman yeah how, you know you, if you were born a natural male right you're born a natural male right you were right I'm an, I am a, I am a male currently sitting here in front of you but how did you go from being a natural male to an unnatural woman who's an unnatural woman but isn't homosexuality is like being a, a female feelings no what is it no what is it exactly being being gay is are being being gay being a homosexual whatever term like um, that that a person wants to right. use to identify themselves it's an innate state of being it means that this this is who that person is it, it, if I'm not a woman, I, I'm a man sitting here in front of you having a conversation. I have a penis, just like you have Well, a you penis. do have the male parts, but now they're cutting that off, too. Did you hear about that? We'll get to that. But do you feel, in, inwardly, do you feel like a male or you feel like a female? I am a male sitting here in front of you. No, but what do you, what do you feel I like? I feel like a male. And inside? I am, I am a male sitting here in front I, of you. I realize you. that, but inside, do you feel like a man or you feel like a woman? I am a male sitting here in front of you, so that answers your question, right? I know. I don't feel like anything because I am a male. You don't feel like neither male nor woman. I am a male sitting here in front of you. I realize that, but but what made you think you're a homosexual then? If there's not a what feeling on this side, why do you think you're homosexuality a homosexual? is not a feeling? It's a state of being. It's a, it's who the person innately is. Uh -huh. It has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with creating a feeling that that you're talking about. It's an innate, it's it's the innate nature of who that person is. I innately am who I am. Me being gay or or homosexual has nothing to do for me with being a man. It has what, everything to do with my preference and who I choose. To what is this me. saying? What does the word? And innately mean. What does that mean? I'm black and slow. I don't know what that means. The word innate. Uh -huh. The word innate means that it is that you. I'm not changing. I'm not becoming something else. I am who I am. 
just before we started the show, you said that you introduced your, uh, is he your husband or your wife? Is that your husband? He's going to be your husband or your wife? I'm going to end this interview. Why? Why? Cause I, because we're ending this right now. Why but why is end? we're ending it? But Take this off. Back. Take this off. When you want to have a real conversation, I'm call me. I'm no, you're bullshitting me, and I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Come take this off of me, or I'm gonna take it with me. But why are you? Why are you running? Come take this off of me, or I'm gonna take. But it why is he confused? Come take it off of me. Really? Because you're, you're disrespecting me. But no, man, so, you really. Please take it off. Am I asking him a really serious question? No, I'm saying just let him take their recording. Just let him do the reaction. It's okay. No, that's not what okay, so, oh. Just take it off. Yeah. But is, tell is me it, why you're running. Down? I'm not running, sir, but when you want to have a real conversation, we'll get you. you have my information, you can But you call said me. that you are going to... When you want to have a real conversation, well, you said when you, you want to have a real conversation, you said you, you go can marry this guy. Yeah. When you want to have... He's a guy. You're calling him a female. You're being disrespectful. I, I asked if you were calling him husband or wife. Come back. Do you want to be interviewed? Oh. Amazing. Well, they gone. That's oh, amazing. They gone. They walked away. So the deal is that was uh, Pastor Kurt D. Thomas, and Kurt D. Thomas is a senior pastor of the Renewed Church of Los Angeles. And he is a admitted homosexual pastor, and what he does is he works with men. They uh, host a monthly men's group, they say. Uh, so I wanted to know about all that, but during the, just before we started the show, he introduced his, this other male, a black male, that he said that they were going to get married soon. And I know that these people are doing that, and they're calling a marriage, so I want to just kind of lay out that first. I had no idea that he was going to run because if they are proud of being what they are and they say that it's normal, you would think that they would want to talk about it. But apparently not. And so I don't know what's going to happen, but he's gone. There's no, there's no use in praying for him anymore. He's gone. I wanted to ask him about the great white hope, Donald Trump. I wanted to ask how does this work? If we are in a fallen state, we should overcome. I had a lot of questions. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. That was a short one. Help us fight censorship. Guys, this video itself, it's... Uh. <laughs> it's it's kind of like crazy. If you are gay, why are you ashamed of being a gay? So who is the second guy with you? Is he female? Or is he male to you? Well, he was, he was actually running, he was seen as disrespect, and it makes no sense. Why are you running away? Stand for who you are. If you think you're a gay and you're a pastor, that, what is pain, pain in me the most is that he's a pastor. Putting being a pastor and a gay. If to be, he made everyone know during his theological class and stuff, he was a gay. I don't think they were appointing him as a pastor. Do you, do you get that? So he was already a pastor before he told the world he was a gay. You get? That was exactly what he did. And it's very shameful of him to leave that place without answering the interviewer's question. It's, it's a simple question. Who is the black guy to you? Is your is he, is your wife? Like is, is he going to be your wife or is he going to be your husband? Because there are only two gender in this world, a male and a female. Irrespective of what people call it, intersex, in gay, homosexual, yeah, LGBT. Intersex. There are there are only two genders in this world. There are only two genders. No matter how you try point the view, there are only two. So you have to choose is he is he your wife or is he a woman? It makes no sense why you are why do you run away like like a dog, like a cat. I don't know. I don't want to insult you but it's getting me annoyed while listening to this. It makes no sense why you should run away. It's just a harmless interview. It's a peaceful one. There was no one who was shouting at each other. At all. Then you are scared to answer a question. See, he said as a female, he's 
It's not actually a feeling. It says a being. It's who you are to be. Uh, no, it says the state of being. The state of being. I so feel like most people who when the state of being is no longer there. There. So I feel like most people who are all these um, transgenders, I feel like they some of them were actually abused when they were younger. I, that's how I feel. I feel some of them were actually abused when they were younger, because uh, and you being a pastor, you carrying the name a pastor, and you acting like that. If it was a normal person, okay. The person is trying to see the light of God. You, yeah, you have, you time. have probably read the scriptures, for you to pass a theology class. You've read the Word of God. Then what come over you for you to be a gay? What, what? It, I feel like when he was, when he was already in the theology class, he was already practicing it. The gay. You see, he started when he was nine, so he was very young when he started the gay aspect of him. That he sees himself as. Yeah. So he was very young when he started practicing. It. Though he, when he went to university theology class, he was already practicing it. Just he have not announced it public. What do well, you think? I feel first of all, he shouldn't have run from the interview because I get I get why he was upset because if you see, um, the guy making a presenter he was trying to understand what point of view yes what the gay stuff means to him because at the end of the day there are two genders and sometimes when i watch um movies i see see the when they are getting married the gay couple one is wife one is husband you get even when i go on tiktok some of them are like my husband is at work but they are both guys but this is the wife this is like you know who is playing the human role within them yeah so I felt maybe that's what he was trying to know. Understand. Yeah, he was trying to understand who is playing the female role, maybe to um, accompany his next question. So I felt the other guy got offended, the pastor got offended. But in natural sense, I feel that things we should get used to. This is where you stand. You should be able to defend what you feel. Freedom, we are abusing it. Yeah. We are looking right, right. for freedom, for this, for that. Now, we have gotten freedom for a whole lot of things. Then we're looking for freedom for things that... Uh, I won't say... That's what I said I don't want to say. But because I don't understand people's points. Like, when it comes to the secular world, I don't understand why they choose to do that. So I won't judge their decisions. But we are just looking for... I feel we're just creating problems for ourselves. But this this interview, uh, I got to know that the pastor, he didn't speak based on the Bible. So I won't hold his conversation in a high esteem. Anything he said, he didn't refer to the Bible. So Not of his own mind. Yes, yeah. he spoke based on his own mind. Nothing based on what God has created for us. Nothing based on the Bible. Nothing based on any prophets of the Bible. So I'm not going to say anything about that his true. topic. True, that was true. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of like a bit, it's a bit funny. It's strange, like it's it's paining me because this uh certain things Muslims see and feel like um you Christian accept gay and act like gay, the gay pastor. This this is nonsense. It's just out of his own mind. There was no scripture he quoted here. There was no emphasis related to the Bible he said here. They have to do with we Christians accepting and being it, gay or stuff. It depends like on where and who because my church, if you are to even have a child out of wedlock, they have punishment for, for you. That. Because you're going against the Bible, you're going against what God has said. So if they don't correct you in the church there, they say charity begins at home. If they don't correct you there, where would you learn it from? So if you're to get a child out of wedlock, stuff like that. Yeah, yet being corrected in church. So the church I go to, this gay homosexuality things is not. It's not. I I have not even heard about them talking about if you're a gay. The... And he was using the word of Africa. Like that pissed me off. Like when he was like in Africa, um, we all have the mindset of who God is in our mind. That God can be. A girl to you your mind God can why be will God be he's just he's just saying mind. nonsense saying absolutely nonsense 
He also uses his own mouth, lips right there to say God can never be a, God is not a male or a female. God is omnipotent, omniscient. You don't know God being. That is as simple as that. He's bigger than so, anything you can ever imagine. He was just saying some certain things that got me pissed. Like, for me, I'm not pissed though. I feel pissed. everyone have their because own him opinion. having there's a title that is that was destined upon him that was given to him being a pastor. And it's not acting that way. That way, as a pastor, because being a pastor is, is is a way of leadership. And if you are acting in that name, being a pastor, you ought to lead people. So you being a gay, you are leading more people to your gay aspect, and that is against the same word of God you are preaching to them. As he's a gay pastor, who is he representing? I don't because. Know. We are Christ-like Christians. We are Christ-like. We are living the way Christ did. We are presenting Christ. So, how does being a gay represent Christ as a Christian? Wow. Let's comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as can. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. Now, we will see you guys in another video. Make sure you stay. I just want a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all over